Hello everybody, Yvette Pagano here, Chief Commercial Officer at Gentech and Conquer. And I'm here to talk about a tech tip, which is a new exciting field that Gentech is pleased to support scientists and that's psychedelic drug testing. I uh, attended um, the second annual Psychedelics and Therapeutics Drug Development Conference earlier this year in Washington, D.C to try to learn a little bit about this nascent industry. As a bit of background, Gentech has been uh, very successful providing uh, refurbished analytical science equipment to meet the testing and regulation requirements in the cannabis industry. We were out early as 2015 talking to scientists, you know, providing the instruments for people to become accredited third-party labs. So in that spirit, we feel that psychedelic testing is going to be big and it's an emerging industry. And so I went to this drug development conference to talk to scientists and figure out what they're studying and learn their pain points and learn uh, where the industry is going. It was, it was a really interesting conference and it did cover a lot in psychedelics, all the different kinds of psychedelics, both um, synthetic and natural plant medicines, as well as um, even IP for you know new um, psychedelics that are they're still trying to formulate. So for purposes of this tech tip, um, and to kind of narrow the focus a little bit, we decided to come out with an instrument package specifically around psilocybin. That has been decriminalized in the state of Oregon here in the U.S., and so we honed in specifically on the, the natural plant medicine of uh, psilocybin and its recent decriminalization in Oregon. So my aha moment during the uh, conference was actually a presentation by Zuber Law. It was entitled, So You Want to Get a Psychedelics License in Oregon. And so it was uh, during this presentation that I learned there's four different types of licenses you can actually apply for in Oregon, you know, manufacturing and distribution, and uh, there's certain requirements, it's, you know, you got to be a resident of Oregon and, and stuff like that. But the thing that was the most interesting to me is there's a laboratory license that is issued now in the state of Oregon. So it is established by the Oregon Health Authority, and it basically sets up the minimum compliance testing standard for psilocybin products. So finally, I figured out, like, what are you even testing for? What are you even looking for if you are an accredited lab and you're testing psilocybin for sale? The answer is, it's, it's similar to cannabis, but it's not exactly the same. So according to the statute in Oregon, the major tasks that you need to perform as an accredited lab for the sale of psilocybin, psilocybin excuse me, are as follows. So first is, um, it's, it's basically a, a purity, so it's sort of a speciation testing. So you basically need to be able to determine that your lot is only psilocybin cubensis, so it's, it's pure psilocybin, so that's your first test. Um, you also have potency testing, so that's where you're determining the amount of psilocybin. Um, then you've got solvent testing, so that is basically determining that your psilocybin does not contain dangerous levels of residual solvents. You also need to do pesticide testing. So for those of you in the cannabis world, you know that the pesticide, determining your cannabis is pesticide free is the most challenging test. The next test you're required to do is contaminant testing. So that's uh, proving that your psilocybin is uh, no E. coli or mycotoxins. And then the last test is a heavy metals testing. And um, this one is, is very specific, even more so than cannabis. So they actually name um, four items you need to determine are not there. Those are specifically lead, cadmium, mercury, and arsenic. So that is the test that Oregon has laid out. And so what we've done here at Gentech is we've taken the Oregon statute, we've taken all the tests, then we've met with our internal team of chemists, scientists, and engineers, 
and we've uh, determined which instruments are going to be sensitive enough to meet these tests for psilocybin and we have created a startup psilocybin instrument testing package which you can see the link here and what that is is we've uh, provided a good better best so we've offered you know different instruments based on price point and familiarity um, to meet these requirements for these tests so if you do want to pursue um, becoming an accredited third-party lab to be able to monetize uh, the testing of uh, psilocybin in, in Oregon and beyond uh, we're here for you um, with this package so thanks a lot Thank you.